Well, it's another day here, and first things first, we actually got to get really busy this morning. We have quite a bit of herbicide to put down. They got to get some fungicide on, but we're going to pull off to the side here real quick and just kind of check out our corn. All right, so we'll leave that running. Let's go over here and look at this. So yeah, this is actually looking pretty good. You can see that we already have silks on these ears, which means we're currently in about R1. We might be just a tiny bit past it. It, it actually takes, uh, you know, the pollen about 24 hours to move down. So the good news with this corn, with it being an R1, is that we don't really have droughty conditions. So we're not going to have poor pollination and seed setting. So it looks like we might actually be looking at some pretty solid corn this year. Well, enough with that because I think Nate wants to go over it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead, get in the truck, and then we will head up and meet him at the farm. Well, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I got a question. Yeah, go for it. Do you just not own your own truck? Uh, well, the simple thing is, is there's a gas card in here, so... Ah, okay. Gas card, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm still coming out of our profits out of the co-op. Uh, well, yeah, I guess, but it's more miles that I don't <laughs> have to put on a truck, so... Sure, that's true. It's like, it looks like the new workers here, and what is, what is that? What's he got there? Looks like a trailer of some sort. I wonder if that has anything to do with like, the dirt car you was talking about. Morning, boys. Morning. Morning. Checking both ways. Make sure to look right. Sir, you did not do your safety checks before crossing the road. Uh, please go back across and do your safety checks. Uh, Osha's not around, are they today? Uh, you never know. Don't make me oh. be Osha. <laughs> Don't make me be Osha. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just a little bit groggy. I uh, had to sleep in the trailer last night, so. Why don't you get a hotel? And, you know, uh. I don't have the most cash right now. A little bit uh, strapped, and uh, that's why I'm. I mean, that's a big reason why I'm here. To make a little cash so I can do some stuff. I mean, I only get paid once a month, and I kind of spend it all at the casino. Wait a minute. How? how you got, you got some kind of like elaborate setup back in there? Or are you just sleeping on the on the floor? I mean, I got a little bit of a mattress in there in front of the race car, but it's that's about it. I mean, we gotta see the car. I mean, you can't just bring a race car to my facility. And not let us at least look at it. Maybe test drive it. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, we could, we could definitely take a look at it later. I, I mean, I'm sure we got some work to do right now, right? Yeah, we gotta get the animals fed. Sadly, we have a bunch of cattle and cattle around here that need to be fed three million liters of food. Can you go uh, open up the Quonset shed so that we can get the feed mixer out? Yeah. All uh, right, one y'all boys want to load me up? And I, I've never seen this done before. Like, what's it? Is it like cutting it back up after it's wrapped? Uh, yeah, it's chopping it up, making it into uh, smaller pieces for the animals. Usually we would mix other types of stuff in there with it, but since we don't have the other stuff, we are just using this to at least take two bells at one time to feed the animals with. I got and, you. And uh, William, well, me and him go use this to feed the big cattle, the, the big cattle lot with. This will take the whole bell. It, the first one was 50, so this should be the rest of it. Um, do you want to go over there and take one of the bells to the small test lot? Yeah, the one we dropped off the first load yesterday. Yep. All right, Ashley, you know what? I'm going to let y'all, if y'all don't mind, finish f feeding the animals. Uh -huh. I'm going to head over to Alice's farm and talk to them about at least out of that dairy barn. How, hey, what, William, since yeah. you're my business partner, yeah. how much are you thinking we should lease it out for per month? For every hunter head of cattle he puts in there, since it's wear and tear on the building... A hundred dollars per head, sounds per good month. To me. All right, sounds good. Huh. Well, this uh, doesn't seem very safe at all, but uh, hopefully, driver can get back over here and maybe we'll be able to get both these bales in at once. I don't know. We're cutting some corners, but uh, it might pay off. Hey, Chris, how are you? Good. How you doing? Uh, just loading up some hay right now. So, need something? Do you do you remember the grass field that you treated for me a couple months ago? Uh, yes, sir, I do. So there's that corn field and soybean field that was right by it mm -hmm. that Brody Farms owns. He is out of town. He was wanting me to get in contact with you about treating the weeds on that on those two fields. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'd, be, we'd uh, love to come out and get those sprayed for you today. That would be excellent. And then you'll let us know the cost afterwards? Yep, I'll send you an invoice. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Anytime. Look at them driving skills right there. I'd say he did pretty good. And I was thinking we could probably get a double if that tractor will handle it. 
Yeah, I think I might be able to actually put double in this, so I'll grab another one, and next time you pop around, I'll, I'll put two bales on this. Well, there goes driver again, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we made a little bit of a boo-boo, so we're going to have to pick these up and get them back on the trailer before he comes for his next load. All right, all right, and right there good? Yep, you've been getting really good at pulling up and stopping just like that. I mean, they don't call me driver for nothing. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Uh, it's been a struggle, but uh, things are getting done, so. All right, that's good. Well, we uh, we got, I got some news for you. You have, so I was looking at the grain market for us, something like that. Did you know beans right now are going for $125 a bushel right now? Are they actually? I haven't checked up on them in a few days. We've been so busy spraying. Yeah, they've been, they're going for a hefty amount currently. Wow. Uh, so we had a guy over there, uh, Alex, you know, Mr. Alex yeah, over there. Yeah, he he wants earlier. to go ahead. He wants to go ahead and sell 200, I mean, 2000 bushels of beans. Okay. And so that's $190,000 is what he wants to go ahead and do. Uh, and just go ahead and pre-sell them out, which I would estimate him that on a $95 per bushel acreage. So yeah, that I, I say we go for it. Cause with, that kind of money, I mean, you can't really turn that down, so. That's what I, you know what I mean? Because I was looking at, technically, it's above hot normal right now with how high it is. Yeah. Um, usually, it don't go past 110, so it's a little bit above normal. With it being that high, I just went ahead and estimated it at 95, and then, of course, I told him if he doesn't, if he doesn't uh, make the 2,000 back when he actually harvests his grain, he has to pay us, of course, all that money back over what he didn't on top of that $5 extra per bushel. Yep, yep. So I'll make sure you okay with that? Yeah, I, I say we go for it because uh, I think in the end it'll pay off. I think that right there is pretty much the best way to do it. And we come away, that's a two hundred and that's $220,000 what we'll make. And then minus the one the 190, hey, equal 30, we'll make a $30,000 profit. Yeah, you really can't beat that. So, I say we no. take him up on it. All right. So, do you want me? Do you want to go over there and go give him the funds, or? Uh, I can finish loading him up, and yeah, I can run and do it, or you can do it. I don't, I don't really care. All right, I'll go run over there, go give him the funds. I'll let y'all finish up doing what you're doing. We got to go crop scouting, so we need, we need to figure out if you can. We, we need all three of us will go crop scouting, see what we need to do, and then we need to get over there because I know we got to do Chris's job of uh, spraying herbicide. All right, I'll see y'all boys in a minute. All just right, we'll see. Like you know. Well, and just like that, we have two more bales left, plus the baby bale that we purchased from Brendan. So it looks like we're pretty much sitting good. We've got the furthest feed lot filled, and now we're working on the back one. So me and Driver are going to finish this up, and then we really got to go start Crop Scout. Hey, man, that, uh, that other uh, feed lot over there, it looks pretty full. I don't think I can shove any more in there. Um, So we got... A bit of leftover. I don't know exactly what to do with it. Uh, I think we'll leave it there. Um, I know now that we're done with that, which is a good thing. I actually had a hydraulic hose bust on this tractor here. Um, I'll have to go pick a new one up. But I think Nate is going to come back here, and then we actually have to go crop scout. So, yeah. Now that we got those both filled up, I say we park that back in the shed. Or we can ask Nate what to do with it. And uh, I guess we'll figure out what to do with the other three bales. Yeah, I mean, I'll just go ahead and run it because probably where he's going to want to keep it out of the main area here so we can get the other equipment around. Yep, perfect. Golly, it's always something. I mean, yeah, that hose is just screwed. All right, let's see here. Let's get this hose back on. We got it. Let's plug it up here and there. Tighten it up. All right. Well, we've got that done, and we have three bales left to spare, so I think we're actually just going to go ahead and stack them up behind the storage. Alrighty, we got those last three bales put behind here. I'm hoping we can do something with these because we don't want them to go to waste, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead, put the tractor up in the shop, and then we got to go find Nate so we can crop scout. Hey, well, you mean think I should uh, throw this trailer back in this area right here? Yeah, I think it's big enough I can make it. Yeah, let's uh, let's test your backing up skills. I want to see if you can get that just right in there. Just right. One try only, right? One try? Yeah, one try. Let's see if you can do it. Oh, I had to pull forward just a little oh, bit. Oh, I don't know about that. At least I didn't scratch it. Well, uh, yeah. I, I think this barrel rolling through the corn would say otherwise, but other than that, pretty good job. Oh, man. Who hit the diesel barrel? All right, William. 
Yes, sir. So, got that signed off on. You got Here's the paperwork, just so you have it sitting next to you. Thank you. And you can file it. He has all the information he needs. I've already paid him. Let's do a little bit of crop scouting. We haven't done that yet so far, and we need to see what needs to be done on what farm and what needs to be sprayed, what doesn't need to be sprayed. What okay. do we just need to give up hope on? <laughs> Hopefully none of it. <laughs> well, my dreams are starting to dwindle. That's what happens when you buy that many head of cattle. All righty. This would be the first field. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Well, yeah, as you can see, we haven't had that droughty of conditions this year. We've got some silking, so we're at R1. Let me peel this back and look. Um, yeah, pollination looks looks uh looks pretty good. We've actually got pretty good uh, filling going on. So this field, especially, it looks like. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty good crop on it, but I know see some weeds here and there. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a couple of broad leaves, so I think we probably need to put some herbicide on this. So looks like these leaves got like a disease or something like that. On them. Yeah, let me see here. Well, it's got some striations on it. It might be gray leaf spot, which is not too bad. I think we can get around that if we might be able to hit it with some fungicide and it'll grow out of it. So not. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm not seeing too much disease, but yeah, there's some here and there yeah we just need to make sure it ain't corn rust or anything like that oh yeah if we if we got if we got some common rust or some southern rust we're we're in trouble exactly yeah we don't want none of that overall it does look we got some decently tall plants i know some of these ears are they're looking pretty good you want to snap a couple off and see what we looking like for diameter and stuff like that yeah let me go in here and Let's see. That one. Grab that one. The biggest thing you're looking when we're grabbing these is you don't want to select, of course, just the biggest ears. That's not a great representation. All right. Let's look at hey, this. This is why you hire somebody to go up. Yeah, these are these are definitely above average. Even even through some of the smaller ones, we're probably looking at some some pretty high bushel corn here. All right, sounds good to me. What you thinking? What you think for bushels? If we get the herbicide down and we and we keep the disease out, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking 290, 295. That you know what? That sounds perfect to me. As long as we're not, because I know we're not on the best ground in the world. Yeah. Yeah, we're not, but uh, this is looking promising, so. All right, as long as we can stay on the promising side, we'll be doing pretty good. Let's go take a look at some beans. I mean, I can tell you from staying right here, herbicide. Yeah, we got a weed problem, don't we? Yeah, a little bit. I've been caught up so much with other people's fields that I've kind of neglected our own. You think? Are you just now figuring this out, or do we need to give you a manual on this one? Uh, I'll have to definitely work on my time management uh, skills. So. The roots look healthy. Yeah, let's see here. We got some flowering going on. I think we might be just past R1, so we might be R2, R3. We still have some flowering, so we're definitely in the early R stages. Um, as you can see, we'll have some pods starting to come through here soon. We've got some spottiness through here. Don't see any white mold. Don't see any phytophthora? Let me pull one out of the ground. Yeah, all the nodules on the roots are healthy. Cut them open. They're they're fixating nitrogen. So actually, if here, Nate, you take this. You can take the plant's roots, cut open this little thing, and you should see pink. Tell me if you see pink on this little this little circle. Uh, yes, I do. Yep. So that means we are actively fixing nitrogen. Yeah, this field also looks pretty promising. We don't have pods yet, so I can't really look too much into the yield or anything. But other than that, yeah, we get some herbicide on this too. We might be sitting pretty good. All right. All right. Do you think we need to put any fungicides and that on it, or do you think we're fine with or insecticides anything? Uh, I don't see a whole lot of eating on the plants. I think we're good. I think we're good. As long as you think we're good on that, we should be pretty good. So we'll just throw some of that on this field. Yep. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go down there to Brody's near Brody's farm. Alrighty. And so that's Brody's field, and this is our field back here. Yep. See a couple of weeds here and there. We'll have to hit this too. And we're behind. Yeah, the roots don't look as good in this. This one seems like it's ain't getting as much water too. Yeah, Nate, you're not gonna like this. These uh, these don't look all that great. I think we can we can save them a little bit, but it's not not uh, 290 bushel corn here. So you think in yeah, closer to like 200, 190, what? Yeah, it's gonna be low 200s, upper 190s. Um, that's what based off yeah. of the width and, and and the kernel length. I'm I'm thinking that's what we're gonna hit here. So yeah, well, this is the decab variety. So I was expecting more out of that. So so was I honestly. This is this is more, this is what I was expecting a lot more. Uh, this hefty right beside it looks. Almost as bad, though. I don't know. What, 
did we do anything different to our field over here? Because his field is eaten up with weeds. Look at some of the sizes of these. Not really. We did the exact same thing. Like he's got a garden in his field. All right. Well, let's set on back to the farm. We know what we got to do. Yep. Which All right. Let's roll, boys. All righty. All righty. We're on the road. I'm going to widen my base out just a little bit more. Uh, are we starting on our fields or? I'm going to go and hit Brody's field for him since he needed that done. Yeah, I'm going to come with you. We need to hit this field right here beside the co-op eventually because remember, that's your field right there. Yep. We do need to remember to hit that thing. It, that's bad looking. All right, let's head on to the uh, soybean fields that we got. And then from there, really, truly, this is kind of a short day. There's not really a whole lot left to do. That's the one bad part about having a little bit of work to do. There's nothing really to do. We'll probably just get this wrapped up and uh, go on, go on our separate ways. All right, you all ready to head on? Yes, sir. Absolutely. I ain't really nothing else to do except say bye. I'll miss y'all. Uh, see y'all tomorrow. Yep, we'll see you. Yep, see you tomorrow.